So how do you feel like you performed out here today? I thought I did pretty good. You know, uh, Coach Day coaching things up, and I thought it really helped me out and took my game to my level today. What was it like having the opportunity to work with Coach Day today? It was amazing. You know, it's kind of something I definitely don't take for granted. A lot of kids don't get the opportunity. You see him on TV all the time. You really, Gamers, it's weird to see him now in person. But he taught me some things that I think I'm, I'm definitely going to take home and continue to work on and help me out. How much communication had you had with Ohio State before today? I had for about a year or so. He talked to my high school coach and uh, probably talked to him once a week. Yeah, I mean, talk to him, check in on him, taught me some things, stuff like that. Did they talk to you about the possibility of getting an offer? We haven't talked about it. They said they wanted to see me throw. So I, after here, maybe I'll talk to them about that. If not, just keep working every day. What are the things that you know you feel like you know you, you can bring if you if you were to get an offer? What are the things you think you could bring to this offense? I think just more just a good person, a competitor, somebody that likes the X and O side of the game and just likes to learn. You know, I like to be around the best. You know, Ohio State has the best defense every year, DBs every year, and they got the best receiver. So I think you're around a lot of good people and it prepares you for the next level if that's what you want to do be. And Coach Day prepares quarterbacks very well, and I think that's a big thing for me. How would you describe your game for people who haven't seen you play? I would say just a pro style kind of guy, you know. What I mean, athletic, had a baseball, basketball background, so I make plays when I need to. But just do everything my coaches ask me to do, and that's all I always do. I know you were at uh, Clemson. Where else have you been uh, so far, and where else you plan to go? I haven't been anywhere except Clemson, Ohio State, so far. But um, I'll be at LSU and um, Penn State soon. How did you feel like Ohio State maybe compared to Clemson? Just you know, I think they're both very similar. They've had some successful quarterbacks. You know, what I mean, they both developed them well and. A lot of the teaching was the same, you know what I mean? So I like both of them. Does seeing what guys like Justin Fields and Dwayne Haskins have done with Ryan Day increase your interest in Ohio State? Absolutely. I think that just shows how well Coach Day and Coach Dennis have done with them. And it's like they have a history with it. You know what I mean? A lot of schools can't say that. And they're one of those schools that can. What did you want to show to Bobby? Just to show that the ball comes off my hands like anybody else, if not better. You know what I mean? I got good feet, athletic, just and just show them I'm coaching more than anything. How did you feel like that went? I think I, that went pretty well. Coach Day taught me some things, and I changed it, and I think it helped my game out a lot as well. So where do you what do you take from here that maybe you can work on? With he uh, told me to shorten my stance up a little bit, uh, work on that, and I think the ball came out even better. And, uh, it was something I really liked. I never really thought about it. Once again, once you so receive your test card, things go inside the doors, pick up your left, pick up your camp shirt, 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 pick up your camp both of them are really cool guys, and hopefully I'll see them again sometime. And you mentioned leadership. I saw after a lot of the throws you were going up talking to the receivers. What, what are you telling guys? Is, is that what you wanted to show? Leadership? Yeah, I think, and honestly, that's nothing to show. That's just what I do. Like, that's not just something I do when around a bunch of big-time profile guys. I do that at my high school with my friends and everything. So, yeah. you know what I mean? I just like like coaching my guys up. I think sometimes as a player, you rather hear from your own player. Sometimes coaches are harder on it. If your player, if your best friend's telling you that, you're going to listen to it more than the coach probably would. You know what I mean? Especially if you're telling them the right thing. Yeah. I saw that you were uh, changing high schools. Kind of what went into that decision? Um, uh, the math that was great, start off that way. Love every coach there. Thank Coach McGregor. But uh, a lot of soul searching, being away from home. I, I liked being away from home, but I always made decisions for myself and I felt selfish and I had a lot of friends back home that this is our last time. Uh, if you know my story, I reclass in sixth grade and all my friends are 22, so I only have one more shot with them. And I was tired of being selfish and I said, I'm gonna come home and I'm gonna do it for people other than me, you know, for my family and for my friends as well. How special is that, like to have the opportunity to play for your home down for a couple years now? It's it's big, I mean, like, I've seen like three Gatorade player of the years now. I look at them as big brothers, the coaches, had coached at, high, at college, stuff like that, big time high schools. So it's like every memory that we were a very good program at Smyrna. Every memory I was there as a young kid, and that's when my football career started to become big for me and seeing all those kids. And now they look at me as like an equal, but I still look, I look at them as like hometown heroes, you know what I mean? And it's, it's bigger than me and it's, it's very special to be back home. You mentioned that reclass. I mean, is that something that you think like helped you to kind of give you another year in this process? I think it did. I did in sixth grade. Me and my dad were talking about it earlier. Honestly, I feel like it would, I would have been okay if I was a 22 as well, but they gave me another year to just get better, you know what I mean? So I definitely don't regret it. A lot of people told me and my dad that we were crazy for it, but 
now they all tell us that we were pretty smart at that time. Do you have like a timeline coming out of this June, like when you maybe want to make a decision or are you kind of taking it slow? Um, I don't have a timeline set really. I have to see some schools, but I would like to commit as early as possible. Do you like the fact that like you have these two more years where like some guys in that class of 2022, they would have just been making their first I do. now? I do. I do like that. You know what I mean? So with me, it's not as much about visiting because as you go around the schools, everybody kind of has the same thing and everything. But with me, I feel like it's just who fits me offensively, who's going to prepare me. And there's less schools that have that than good facilities. Everybody's going to have a good facility. You know what I mean? How many people are going to prepare you to be, to be ready to play? So you're That's really what, looking at that coaching and that offensive yes, team? absolutely. Something Coach Day talked about, like, are you ready to go? Like, are, are guys ready to go to the NFL? Are you ready to play college? That's a big deal for me. And I think preparation is equals confidence. If you're prepared, you're going to be confident. If you're confident, you're going to play well. And I think that's just a big deal. So is that something that kind of in, in, increases your interest in Ohio State, knowing what Ryan Day and Absolutely. Ohio State do? Absolutely. You know I mean, they, they have the history. So there's really nothing Ryan Day or Coach Dennis or anybody has to sell me. Everything they've done, everything I want, they've already shown it. You know what I mean? They don't have to even tell me the other day. They do because that's what they have to do. But everybody knows who Dwayne Haskins is and everything. So it's already it's already out there for everybody. How do you picture your fit in this offense? I think it's perfect, actually. I think it's uh, similar to what we do at, at my high school. Yeah, it's very similar. Some of the structure of it's very good. Similar, I don't think. So some people coach it different. So if, that, if this is where I come, I think that's why I have to decide. I have to readjust but I think when things are the same you can people sometimes say in different words what it means the same thing so if you're used to it, I think that's a big deal did they talk to you about a path to getting an offer from them not not yet there's nothing we talked about they just said they wanted to see me throw you know what I mean so I don't put too much stock into it at the end of the day I, I still had two more years which is a good thing but if it, if it happens today great if not great as well I keep working every day what would, what would it mean for you to get that offer it would be big you know I mean I know they're very selective and I think they pick the best quarterbacks in the country I think that would put me in that top tier of guys but if not I'm just gonna keep working are there any quarterbacks that you would compare your own game to uh, I would say like try to be as close to Drew Brees and Tom Brady you know I mean I think I'm probably a little more athletic than them but I think if you just those guys are not that athletic but are some of the best so if I can do what they do as well and add my athleticism to it, I think that's a big plus. Are there any schools that you really want to get an offer from? I mean, it's kind of good. Offers are, I think people put too much stock into it. You know what I mean? I, I just, I'd rather school to say, we want you like that. Like, at the end of the day, I just want them to tell me this is the, the best fit for me offensively. Offer's not that big a deal. You know? Did you grow, grow up a fan of any program? Uh, it was kind of weird. I grew up, so I was a basketball guy first. Okay. So Duke was a basketball school. Then Oregon's colors jumped off like them. And then uh, recently, it's been like Ohio State, stuff like that, like Oregon, yeah. just the colors. Thing. Yeah. Obviously, uh, Chase Young was a DeMatha guy. Have you yeah. met him at all? I saw him come to one practice one time. I never got to shake his hand or anything. So I've seen him around a good amount. And he's talked about like he is here. So it's kind of the same thing. And Dwayne's a guy that's from your area. So I'm curious if you ever met him at all. Or never had, never have. He actually, there's a picture of him. He had the DeMatha jersey on Instagram. So I've never met him. I like to.